In a move that will guarantee it access to the bowl championship series at its five big money bowl games, TCU has accepted an invitation to join the Big East Conference. The move from the Mountain West Conference involves all sports and becomes official July 1st of 2012. Uh, this is the Big East, guys. This is a phenomenal conference. A phenomenal conference, athletically, academically. We are very fortunate to be in this position today. The third-ranked Horn Frogs are 12-0 and and wrapped up their second consecutive undefeated regular season and Mountain West title with last Saturday's 66-17 win at New Mexico. TCU is third in the current BCS standings, the highest for a non-automatic qualifying team. And should Auburn or Oregon lose this weekend, the Horn Frogs would be in line for a chance to play for the national championship. But GCU might not have been headed to a BCS game without Boise State's overtime loss to Nevada Friday night. We, we expect to go into a very strong conference on a week-to-week -week basis. I understand that we'll have to, we'll have to escalate our game on a, on a season basis and um, go get ready to play. With TCU's move in all sports, Big East basketball will have 17 teams. This is basketball at the highest level without question. You're talking about national championship teams, final four teams every year, and we're going to have to try to get those quality athletes interested in TCU basketball. With TCU's pending departure, the Mountain West shuffle continues as next season Utah moves to the expanded Pac-12 and BYU goes independent in football. But the Mountain West is gaining Boise State, Fresno State, and Nevada, which are moving from the WAC. John Kolbikar, The Associated Press.